Doing more with less, the Coast Guard has captured drug smugglers and rescued distressed swimmers for many years and has done it all on a shoestring budget. But now its motto, always ready, is really being put to the test. Mike Gooding tells us the Coast Guard's top admiral wants change in the way of more funding. We face very real readiness challenges, so much so that we're approaching a tipping point. Coast Guard Commandant Admiral Carl Schultz is thankful for an increase in funding his service received in 2019 to build new vessels, but... Over the last eight, eight years, our operations support funding, ONS funding we call it, has essentially been flatlined, eroding our services purchasing power by almost 10 percent. In a modestly funded organization like the Coast Guard, this has resulted in deferred maintenance, a strained and undersized workforce, and antiquated information systems. Schultz said the Coast Guard is doing the best it can. However, to be an absolutely ready, relevant, and responsive service requires a 5% annual increase in operating and support funding. As Congress makes tough final decisions and looks to the best ways to spend the nation's precious resources, there's not a better return on investment in government than your United States Coast Guard. And Schultz offered high praise for his branch's 56,000 active reserve and civilian members who just worked without pay or were furloughed throughout history's longest government shutdown. The strength of our workforce continually reveals itself in difficult times, as the nation observed during the recent 35-day partial lapse in appropriation. Our people stood the watch and fulfilled our promise to the American public. Mike Gooding, 13 News Now.